Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and this is my channel Eclipse Botanica. If you're new to my channel, I'm just documenting my journey with my first small business, all the ups and downs and mistakes and lessons and sharing my experience with y'all. So hopefully that can help you guys out with your small business. Yesterday, I made my first like batch of candles. I've only ever done like test candles and my melts. And yesterday I made uh, 24 ounces in my in my Presto pot. And I did it after I did that video of um, when I made my, when I turned my Presto pot into a double boiler. And just in case y'all wanna watch that video, I will card it above here, but it totally worked as a double boiler. I made these candles last night and there was, when it got up to like above 200, cause I heat my wax up to 250. It was bubbling. I guess like whatever moisture was left in there was bubbling up to the top and I left it on 250. <coughs> Sorry. Oh God, blue balls of my brain. Okay. Um. Sorry, I left the Presto Pot on 250 for like three minutes until the bubbling that it was like a popping sound until that stopped and then I poured it. So I finally made my first 24 ounces because I made these two guys, these two six ounces and this 12 ounce. And I'm gonna power burn through this guy and this guy. And then I'm gonna let this guy cure for two weeks. But anyways, as I was uh, using my closet for making candles, like a big amount of candles for the first time, I, I've got everything in there in the wrong place. The, the way that I have everything set up, I thought that it made sense when I put it in there, but as I was actually sitting there and making candles, I'm having to like reach for everything across everywhere and none of it was in, the way that I have everything organized in there doesn't make sense. So today I decided I'm going to completely rearrange my closet and I'm gonna try and film it um, and like time lapse it. I'm gonna be taking a bunch of stuff out because we're gonna get some big bookshelves out there that I can put a lot of this stuff on. We don't have them yet. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move the stuff out of the closet that's gonna be on the bookshelves. And then I think my shelves, um, these shelves up here that I uh, use for my, or that I'm gonna be using for my orders, I'm gonna order another three shelves, the exact same ones from Amazon. So I think I'm going to just take, I'm just, I'm going to take two of them off and go put them in the closet. So that way I can put some stuff up off the table and give myself some room because I have to, I haven't drilled them into what they're sitting on the metal pieces. I don't know, you're supposed to. So I'm going to do that and then take them off the wall and then um, set my ring light up. These are actually my final test candles. I'm going to burn through these to make sure that they're okay, that they're good. And then I'm going to wait two weeks on this guy and I'm going to light it and make sure that the smell is as strong as I want it to be. And if these are good, then I'm going to start cranking out my candles finally and really getting ready for lunch. I know it's taken longer than, than expected. I also haven't even ordered my jars from Alibaba yet. I'm still waiting on the funds to do that. So I have an order waiting I'm getting 300 jars. I'm getting it from a different supplier this time. And I'm actually getting it for like 50 cents cheaper per jar. <laughs> um, and I've heard really good things about this supplier. I've heard that they like send you extra ones in case some show up broken like mine did in my video. I will tag the Alibaba video above if you would like to watch it of me opening up all of my shattered jars. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and light these now. I need to set a timer because I need to know that my phone is right there. Okay, hold on. Will you start the stopwatch? There we go, that worked. Okay, so now I'm timing this. Oh, I should probably actually light them. <laughs> They're the same scent. All right. Heavy. All right, so there's 
that guy. And then I'm going to do this one. I, I'm going to let it burn and I'm going to let it reach the full melt pool. And I'm hoping since with, with these new wicks that that's going to take like four hours. I'm hoping. I'll keep checking my time, my stopwatch. But once it hits the full melt pool, I am going to blow it out just to make sure that the Vibar really, really, really doesn't make a cauliflower. And also in this jar, maybe it's different. I don't know. I don't know why I like watching videos of people like reorganizing their candle stations. I don't know why. I'm going to time lapse it. So if you get bored with it, just skip past it. So we'll, well yeah, we're going to go do that. And um, yeah. <laughs> I just um, kind of rearranged some things in here to make myself some more room because it was just way too crowded. Oh, I forgot there's space down there. What should I use that for? I don't know. Um, I guess I'm just going to hold extra thing of paper towels and just leave it down here. I'm going to put that somewhere else. But um, I'm like with my paper towels, I'm going to order this thing that at you nail into the top and it's a little metal thing. So that way my paper towels will just hang right there and I'll probably get one on both. Well, maybe not because the, I thought it would be better to put the filter up top because I had it on the floor. And when I made the candles in here, it got pretty stuffy. So I am going to get a, um, whoops, a um, mask, a face, God, what are those things called? I wanted to say breathalyzer. <laughs> Anyways, but I was able to move all those stupid packing peanuts, so now I'm able to get to my shoes again. <laughs> um, these are my wax melts. These are all my jars, and I'm thinking like this. This was for a laptop, but at least I can do like 
two stacks while they're cooling. I'm not sure. Yeah, this, this is metal. That should be fine. This I need to move. I'm not sure what to do with it yet because these are just like photo props and I still have to take another bath salt photo. And then up here is an empty box and then there's um, mistakes in that cardboard box. Those are in the same spot. That's in the same spot. Moved boxes up there. Uh, everything else is the same. Um, but I put my fragrance oils up top there and those 16, 17 jars. I, I mean, I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. So I figured like, I don't know, that just makes it kind of look a little bit nicer. There's, there's, there's a lot of stuff I still need to, um, kind of fix. Like I'm going to be getting one of those microwave stands because it's too hard to pour it. <laughs> from here and still like weigh it and it's too hard to do that so I'm gonna get it uh, on a microwave stand and I'm gonna put the microwave stand up there I'll probably move this over because this is just a bunch of random crap I can put this in one of the bins down below um and this is all my bath um salt stuff I got rid of all of the extra boxes I'm gonna go put all of those on the shelves on the shelves that are we're, that we're gonna get for the living room. And that just, I mean, it really opened the space up. I have so much more room on the table now. It was so crowded and I still have just a bunch of stuff. Like this would just be for recording videos. I don't even need this in here. Um, and then this is gonna go up and then I'm gonna have this up. So this is gonna be, I'm actually probably gonna use this to cool my candles on because I've been cooling them over here I've made a huge mess of this table. I've been cooling them over here and I'm just nervous because I pour it at 200 degrees. So I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm nervous. <laughs> but I'm going to put that up on the microwave stand, move that over, put all that stuff in that bin down there. And move that over there. And then I'm just going to have a whole bunch of room. <laughs> to work with finally, rather than just having, you know, a table where I put all my stuff on, but then I don't actually have any room to work. Cause that's kind of how it was. So this is, this is much more open. This is better. Um, I mean, it's still pretty crowded in here. I can't wait to get my own, <laughs> to get a room that I can do all this in. That'll be so much nicer, but I feel like that looks a little bit better than it did before. So so those shelves were a pain in the ass. <laughs> and now they're gone. I mean, I, I kept one. There's that one. The other ones are gone now. <laughs> I'm going to order a few more shelves from Amazon, the exact same ones. And I might just put them a little bit closer together. That way I've got four shelves to put shipping stuff. Or I got three shipping shelves and I can keep all my random stuff. That's not really that random. I have my very first candle that I made. I have my very first batch of wax melts and uh, my very first bath salts, and then my coffee mug that me and my fiance found when I first had this idea. We went shopping at Hobby Lobby and, and picked that out, and it just kind of reminds me of when this whole thing started and my fiance's support through this whole thing. has just, it's been pretty incredible. Whoa, that's a sinkhole. I've never had one before. Oops, it's like, really in there hmm. it's like a cave <laughs> uh, well the other wick is like an inch lower now so that's <clears throat> not good so I guess what I should probably start doing maybe is like poking holes and then hitting you with the heat gun I don't I've I, now I've got some more research I need to do because I've never had to do, I've never seen a sinkhole before. All right, it's filling up now, but they're still like, <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. We'll see, it's still lit. So it's just under two hours and um, here's this one. Hasn't reached the edges yet, thank God. What happened <laughs> was there was a sinkhole. And then this one, the one that the guy on the left became lower than the one on the right, which you can kind of tell the, the, two, the wicks that are out. But since the candle was soft, I just put um, 
some extra trim from when I trimmed the wicks last night. Stuck it down in there and relit it. And so I'm hoping this will work as the candle goes down and then hopefully it'll relight the wick that that went out. There's definitely a hair right there. I can see it in my camera, but I can't see it just looking at it. That's weird. Gotta get that out. That's killing me. Boop. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks really dirty because yeah, I was messing with the wicks really a lot because they both they both ended up going out, so and hopefully as it burns down, it will relight the actual wick that's going all the way down the candle. And this one at two hours, this is so much better than the Eco 2s because the Eco 2s would reach a full melt pool in like 45 minutes. And that that's, yeah, that sucked. So I'm hoping it doesn't get too much bigger in the next two hours, but uh, this one just might be a lost cause. I'm not really sure. We'll see. All right, so it has been four hours. And I'm going to show y'all real quick. It didn't reach a full melt pool. It drowned both of the, both of the wicks because there were sinkholes. And I'm guessing that's probably from the bubbles from the Presto Pot. So... I think I'm not going to use that as a double boiler. I didn't break it, that's great. So I just need to get a hot plate. But now I have room to do that on my desk. So it's been four hours and not, as you saw on that one, um, it didn't reach a full melt pool. Let's check out that guy. That guy has not reached a full melt pool either. Um, but it's very close and it's been burning for four hours. And you know what's weird is these haven't cured but a day, but I left the room and came back and I, it smelled all right. I mean, it'll smell much better after two weeks, but it, it still smelled okay, which that was kind of cool. That's just letting me know, like, these are going to smell bomb after two weeks, but, um, so yeah, so this, it worked out well, <laughs> so I'm glad, um, yay, because with the, I literally went down from Eco 2's to eco one and the eco twos would reach a full melt pool and go down about an inch in like two hours that's 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 too fast that's entirely too fast and this is like oh way different but that's good it's really slow so that means these candles are gonna last a long time like i don't i might i guess i might time like the burn time but i'm not gonna put it on my label or anything because I'm, I'm done designing my labels, at least for now. Maybe in the future, I'll, I'll put uh, the burn time on there. But just so y'all know that um, just because these are working with my wax does not mean that it'll work with your wax. If you're using, because the different wicks work with different waxes differently. It, you just, you gotta do your own testing and figure this stuff out. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, share my the information that I have gathered through it, but it could be totally different for you. So still do your own testing, but that this is just what I've learned. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, please subscribe below and hit that thumbs up button. That would help me out so much. And as always, be excellent to each other and party on dudes. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.